Welcome, people of planet Earth. Thank you guys so much for watching. My apologies for being late. Let me make sure this is all good to go. Hey, hey, hey. I'm so sorry I'm late. I hate being late. It's one of the things I hate the most in life. Um, but I am doing the uh, single parent life for a week. Uh, my wife is out of town with her sisters. And it's me and three kids. And uh, three young younger kids. And so a lot of things had to get put in place. And some for some reason, last night, I decided to take them out to the woods to camp out overnight in what ended up really being freezing cold weather. So, yeah, I my back is regretting that decision. Um, my kids loved it. Absolutely uh, thought it was the, the greatest thing in the world. Uh, but my back did not and my sleep did not. So I'm here. We have eight bags today. If you've never been to a Mystery Bag Monday, welcome. This is a, a weekly event that we do where I open up these rag bags, like you see right here, that I buy from one of my local thrift stores. And they put like t-shirts and uh, sometimes towels and random stuff that they're not going to put out on the floor uh, for whatever reason, whether they don't have enough space on the floor or uh, they're dirty or they're explicit, whatever it is, it ends up in this bag. In the past, we found some amazing t-shirts. Um, we've been doing this for almost two years now. Um, probably in about a month or two, we'll come up on the two-year anniversary of actually doing this for the first time. I'll check on that. But um, if you're in the chat, uh, let me know that you can hear me. I haven't had a chance to test anything. Literally jumping on because of got to get my kids uh, dinner and them situated and, and the sitter and all that stuff. So, um, But we are here. We are live. We are about to open up some good t-shirts. Um, pretty excited about this. So, well, actually, I don't know if there's good t-shirts. We never really know. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. Um, but I am excited because we do have eight bags. Normally, we're around four or five bags. Uh, so this should be good. I did see something in one of these bags just just kind of just popping out of, between, you know, through the clear glass or through, through the plastic. So I don't know. What could it be in this bag over here? But we'll find out. Hopefully it's good. I've seen, you know, seen through the plastic before and it's been good. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started. If you have questions about vintage clothing, questions about reselling, um, there are typically is a great cast of characters in the chat. So drop your question um, in the chat. I'll answer it. And I'm sure these other guys will answer it. They've got tons of knowledge. Um, lots of good experience. So if you're having a hard time reselling on eBay or Poshmark or YouTube or wherever you're or YouTube, um, uh, Depop, wherever you're at, um, we would love to help answer your question. If you have vintage clothing dating questions, um, like how to date your vintage clothing, uh, drop the, the question in the chat and I'll do my best to help you out. Um, yeah, I think that's about the whole, I think that's the whole spiel. There might be more. I can't remember. I've been, it's been a flurry. <laughs> Another Levi's for men's jeans yesterday. You'd be surprised. They, they were, they're out there. And a lot of people don't know what they're looking at when they see that. Cause it's obviously not the traditional 501 or something. Oh, this is kind of a cute little 2K in. My kids will love this stuff. I have so many towels guys. It's literally, I have so many towels. It's unbelievable. I could probably be like, I could probably, whoa, oh, single stitch alert, single stitch alert. I don't know anything about this t-shirt. We got a Model T University of Nevada, Las Vegas on that wild, like almost tie-dye print on the single stitch. It's a Model T, mo, model, no, yeah, Model T. You can see the tag right there, Model T. Our first vintage hit of the day. That is a good sign. It's a pretty cool T, actually, especially if you're from Vegas or Nevada. Uh, Pre-shrunk cotton made in uh, USA XL. A little bit boxy, but pretty cool start to the day. Better than last week. If you guys were watching last week, we had a rough week last week. Rough. 
I mean, I think there was like two or th- maybe one or two t-shirts that were like at all interesting. So that is a huge step up and a good step in the right direction for sure. Um, like some of those days that are rough like that, I'll take, I'll even take like a modern t-shirt, just anything that can help me get my money back. <laughs> so uh, we got a vintage pro spirit tank top, really not worth anything, but, but it's good to see some older clothes in the mix. Cause you know, ne- Oh, got another single stitch t-shirt here, guys. But I believe this is a bootleg. Look at it's a bootleg. I think this is bootleg Nike. Banger of the week, 1990 single stitch, full front graphic, power slam test. That is a great tee. I believe I've seen that tee. That's sick. We got the bootleg Nike up in here, everybody. I believe it's bootleg. I could be wrong. Uh, it says Swish brand Nike. It's embroidered. Tags cut out. It's pretty, pretty, pretty good sign that this is a bootleg Nike tee. But I do have a collection of these building up, and that's pretty cool. But it's good to he- see that there's some vintage, even bootleg. That's pretty cool. We've got some old single stitch T-shirts coming out of these bags. Oh, sick! Check this out. It's Showtime Championship Boxing. What is that? That's is that Showtime? That can't be Showtime. The is that Showtime the 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 channel that did like uh, boxing pay per views and stuff. Anyone know? This is a single stitch T Showtime Championship Boxing. Heck yeah, killer guys! Check it out. That's all right. We have redeemed this last week. In the first bag, we've hit some bangers already. Some super cool tees. I mean, I say bangers, but I mean like anything that's worth something. So, I mean, that's pretty cool that we have those first three tees. I'm excited about what else is in these bags. Man. Come on. Let's get a let's get an all over print uh uh x-men t or something or an Nirv- like a i just want all right so this is the first everybody are you guys ready i'm just gonna show you the tag can you read that is it is it coming through clear enough to you guys let me know in the chat is this coming through clear can you read what this tag says This is perhaps one of the most famous and most notorious vintage tags in the game. And it's the Stanley DeSantis Wizard of Oz T 1997 Turner Entertainment. So somebody worked for Turner or was a big Turner fan because Showtime, I believe, is owned by Turner. So check that out. Single stitch Stanley DeSantis Tin Man from Wizard of Oz covered in some hair, some dog hair. Great size. XL, Main USA. I'm telling you what, I don't find Stanley DeSantis out here that often. And to find in a rag bag, even better. This bag is killing it, everybody. This isn't even the bag that I thought had the vintage, the, the stuff in. So, whoo! I'm feeling good, everybody. Feeling real good. Feeling so much better than last time, <laughs> that last week. Last week had me hurting, everybody. But so far, this one is killer. But but maybe... Okay, I don't know. It's like an embroidered napkin or handkerchief or something. All right, let's go. Let's keep this party going, everybody. Woo, what a good day so far. I'm telling you, I think I've probably thrifted... Thrifted. Stanley DeSantis a handful of times. Like, dang, 125 OBO. Ooh, boy. Maybe I'm going to be paying for this week and last week. Dang, man, I could have spread it out for me, but sick. Yeah, that's, a, I mean, I, Stanley DeSantis in this area in, in like Missouri in the middle of America, it's just not very common. Hey, Ryan, Ragbag's been around hot and fire there, too. They were bad last week, but so far, dang, this is 
that's one of the better that's probably one of the better bags that I've pulled from in months to be honest we've had a few bags that have had like one maybe two bangers in them or one maybe two good teas so so far this one's this one's treating me right all right that's bag number one y'all anyway i did forget to mention drop your favorite like your best find last week burnt cheese bag <laughs> um Drop your best find. Brag about yourself. Brag about, about your finds in the chat. Let us know what you found last week thrifting. Maybe what you sold last week. Let us know. We're interested. We're curious. We want to share in your joy. All right? Let's get into bag number two. This is the bag that I thought might actually have something interesting in it. So uh, let's see. Maybe these bags are all made up sort of roughly at the same time. Uh, what I've discovered about how these bags are put together is um, there's a group of old ladies. Um, oh, W Ranch friend, nice, ten bucks. That's great. Oh, liquid blue, the blue, oh, sick, all over. Way to go, Samuel. Um, what I found out about how these bags are sort of put together, there's like a group of old ladies that comes in and deals with like a junk pile, so to speak, and they're the ones who bag these up four days a week. So a lot of these bags are bagged up at the same time, um, like two by two. So they put them out two by two. I pick them up pretty much two by two. They come out like at noon and like at, right before they close or something. So hopefully the best stuff is found in pairs and we can keep this party going. Already we have a vintage Fruit of the Loom tag, like mid-90s Fruit of the Loom. This is a blank. This is a blank tee. Um, single stitch on the bottom hem and on up here. So, like, that's just a good sign. I'm going to hold on to that one, actually. Good sign that there might be some older T-shirts in here, some older donations. What do we have here? Oh, man, you're going to make me mad. No, no, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. For a second, I saw this. I thought they are going to make me mad. But it you can see the remnants over here, back here, of it being printed on tag. This is not a vintage T. It is double stitched across the hem. That was going to make me upset. Uh, that's not what I saw, though. Oh, this is what I saw right here. Tommy Hilfiger, script T, the tag that checks out. This is Tommy Jeans. I love Tommy Hilfiger, as you can probably tell. So this is a good T. I might actually keep this. What size is it? This is a medium. Probably not. Well, it's a huge medium. It's a really wide medium. So we'll see. Uh Oh, what, what happened, Ryan? Let's see what happened. Open 10 rag bags and found out 50. Woo! Ryan, that is incredible. I am so happy. It's funny because there's only a handful of, like, there's only a few people in, like, the country that their thrift stores produce, like, actually will produce these kind of rag bags. So most thrift stores don't do this. But Ryan has been doing it for a minute now. He's been around for a while. I think, I think Ryan, remind me, you've been, you've been on this, you've been on the rag bag game for a minute. So you've had, I think I've seen some of your finds. They've been running pretty dope in the past, but that's incredible. Yeah. Deep piles on my, on my, uh, on my wish list too. But yeah, Ryan's an OG to the rag bag videos. He's been around for a long time, opening his own bags, finding his own banger tees. You were the one that found the um you were the one that found the cranberry were you the one that found the cranberries tea in a rag bag? Oh okay, not huge, not huge, not huge, but okay. We got the Nike. I thought it was center check for a second, early 2000s. Let's see. Yeah, this is like early 2000, 2001. Just white tea with the black check. Nothing crazy, but this sell this will sell for sure. Easy. Yeah, Ryan, you were the cranberries guy. That was a sick shirt. I remember that. All right, so I see another single stitch, everybody. I see another single stitch. I'm just going to pull it out. Oh, all right. <laughs> I don't think it's anything that big a deal. It's time out. This is a USA. This is a school, Mizzou. It's a local school here in Missouri. It's vintage, so I'm going to keep it. There's there's some people out here that would be interested in that. Um, man, that could have been a little bit more exciting. <laughs> All right, we got uh, 
I believe this is a military tee. Uh, I think it's. I'm not sure it's vintage. They use all kinds of all kinds of vintage looking stuff still. We got the Urban Works vintage tee. Check this out. I don't know anything about Urban Works, but it's got the it's a double it's a double collar, double hem, uh, like sort of sweatshirt material on the inside kind of feel. But it's vintage. I'm gonna hold on to it. So that's a good sign. We're starting to see lots of vintage in here. We got a Guy Harvey. Nothing special. At one point, Guy Harvey was easier to sell. I don't think it's as easy now. Man, I'm pumped. That's kind of how it goes, to be honest. Like we'll go, we'll go like a week or two, and they'll be terrible. I mean, they'll just be like disappointing. I'll even like question whether I should keep doing rag bag videos. But then we'll hit a we'll hit a we'll hit bags like today. I see another single stitch tee, everybody. All right, here it comes. It's black. You guys ready? I'm just gonna pull it straight up. Oh, nothing crazy, but a good tee. Planet Hollywood, Chicago, single stitch tee. XL, good size, big tee, a little bit boxy. But this is like bread and butter stuff. This is like, I mean, it needs to be, it needs to be washed, I believe. But like, I mean, this is a $20 t-shirt, probably $15, $20 t-shirt. And uh, I see another, I see another single stitch tee. Hey, Pat, you're right. I, I need to, like I said, I've been watching a bunch of like my kids full time for the last week. I've been. I started this this morning trying to catch up on all the questions and stuff, but I I get I saw it. I'm gonna get back to you on that for sure. Oh, 1960s navy bell bottom jeans. That is interesting. That is interesting. Uh, if you want, you can send me uh, send me some photos. I, I'm pretty curious. Luke, fan, uh, let me put my email. I always want to hear and see what people are finding. Because here's the deal. I live in where I live, right? And there's just not everything here. But I want to know as much about vintage as I possibly can get my hands on. So uh, I love seeing everyone's questions and and uh, emails and stuff. So uh, anyway, we have a single stitch T here. All right. Here it is. I I'm going to turn it around. You tell me what it is. I'm not going to look at it. What is it? Actually, I can see it. I have no idea what that is. It's just a house. It's a schoolhouse rock almost. It literally is a schoolhouse or a church house. It's almost, I mean, it's almost, I thought it was puff painted for a second. It's a church house or a schoolhouse, and they're definitely rocking and rolling in there. Single stitch on the, we got the Hefty by TJ's. You guys want to see that tag? The Hefty T by TJ's, which I should probably do a video about them pretty soon. So this is a good T. A little bit of distressing, but that's really cool. I I love unique vintage t-shirts. All about it. I mean, that might stay in my collection. I don't know. All right. We got a Mark Echo. Just so you guys know, Mark Echo also does this too. We got a single stitch here. <laughs> Nothing that's not vintage. It's just Mark Echo. Mark Echo is not as like not as big deal as it used to be. Um, in the early 2000s, but I don't know, man. Uh, well, there's some damage that's not not good, but found a 90s Tommy jeans at Gresham one dollar women's boot cut. Hey, Chad, that's a great find. That's I mean, you could probably, I mean, you go if you're gonna if you're flip into flipping, you're gonna fit flip that for like you know 25 30 bucks. Can't beat a dollar. All right, oh, for a second. Stop the mad! Stop the madness! What the heck? Stop the madness! It's like we're doing more harm. Are we doing? Are we causing more harm than good when strapping a dynamic hand? Wait, a dynamic hand in a static splint? Does anyone have any idea what this is? It's not a vintage tee. It's on a modern gildan, but what a weird t-shirt. I'm gonna hold on to that. All right. Man, I am a 
Oh, we got a vintage tea here, but really nothing. Oh, no, this is not vintage. This is the early, it could have been vintage. It's the early 2000s Gildan tag. I've probably found a dozen of those t-shirts in the past. Um, all right, let's see. What else we got here? Nothing there. Who's excited for garage sale season? What's the website on the arm? Let me see. That's right. I did see a website, isn't there? Uh, here, let me, it's Sabo, S-A-E-B-O. I have no idea. It's, it's just weird. Sometimes you find this weird tease out here because people be making teas for their company or something and they're just weird. They're, they're like inside jokes, but you know, maybe they're still funny. Oh, we got vintage Nike made in USA, everybody. You, they say, I throw like a girl. Your turn. Your t oh, not to uh, mention. Okay, this is a lot of stuff going on here. Your turn, girlfriend. It's a little bit stained. Actually, it's a lot bit stained. But it's on that vintage uh, Made in USA Nike's tag. It's probably from the era of like, you. anything you can do, I can do better. Something like that. Um, but. Does that count as center check? Does this count as center check? I think it's, it's in the center, right? I could still call it center check. Anyway, that's a good find. That's a good, probably a fairly unusual rare uh, Nike. It says medium, but man, that's not does not seem like a medium at all. And great tea, cool tea, interesting tea. Let's just say it that way. How I mean, be real, everybody. <laughs> I guarantee you, half of you guys have found a Nike piece that had a check somewhere in the center of the garment, and you and you titled it center check. I guarantee you, you all did it. It's not the center check that you know Travis Scott or whoever it is that wore it. It's not up here like the center checks are supposed to be. It's on here, but you still you still labeled it center check. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> center check, center swoosh. It's tough to say. Um, I go back and forth. I try to include center. If it's a center center piece, I include check and swoosh. Maybe not center swoosh, center check. But I do like center check, Nike swoosh. And so hopefully I can, I can use the combination to get the hit. Because uh, some people call it the check. Some people call it the center swoosh, whatever. So just make sure check and swoosh are both in the listing. I think you'll be you'll get the all the all the traffic that you should get from it. So all right, we got a bunch of women's shirts in here. Man, it's hard to believe that we're only on bag number two. Uh we're wrapping up bag number two, but man, the first oh more Nike. <laughs> this is like a went this is women's Nike made in USA. That is pretty close. That's much closer to center check. More, more, yeah, than Travis Scott. Uh, but another one right here, this one, the sleeves are cut. That's weird. They're cut, but they're, yeah, they're cut. I don't know. They're almost like, it's almost like they were released, not cut. Anyway, this is much closer to a real medium, but this is probably a women's shirt. But that's that's a pretty dope uh, little graphic, Nike graphic on the back. Main USA, 90s Nike right there. Sick. That's it for bag number two. That's just bag number two. We've got like a Stanley DeSantis. We've got multiple vintage uh, Nike tees. We've got a couple other random cool vintage tees. Not bad. Nice, Ryan. Yeah, you'll probably you probably will. Hey, yo, Pat, that's sick. 1967. Anything 1967 Sony, anything, anything 60s Sony, that's that's gonna be good. That's good stuff. I find that stuff occasionally. I always go back and forth as to whether or not I really should like buy it. Cause sometimes if I can't test everything. 
you know they can it can be a it can be a beast to deal with like the yes it's gonna be he, super heavy because the transformers and those things are massive um but that's still that's a great like anything vintage electronics i try to pick up i i most of the time i'll just try to sell them um i try to sell them like if, if not everything works, it's just tough because there's so many different components and I've been screwed one too many times with uh, electronics. Um, just like, oh, such and such button didn't work. Well, I didn't realize that. I didn't check the pause button. I checked everything else, you know. Um, all right, on to bag number three. So far, these have been a killer. I can't imagine that these this could continue. I mean that would really be incredible, but you mean I mean you really never know. That's sort of that's the whole excitement of this of this show of this live stream is you just never really know. Torch run. Sometimes you find dope stuff like that stuff we found. Sometimes you just find a bunch of random like high school tees. Yeah, I usually sell for parts covers. Yeah, that's a great. Great point for those of you guys that are mostly into like vintage clothing and but you occasionally find some vintage electronics. Um, it's tough to compete with those comp those guys that literally only buy and sell vintage electronics because they're testing everything. But selling for parts is a great way to cover your butt so you don't get a item not as described. <laughs> Ryan, you know you know my pain, my man. <laughs> so many high school tees. It's like I bet, I bet. If we just eliminated high school tees, like period, like no, like outlawed high school tees, we could probably save the earth from global warming. That's just my bet. I, I'm just guessing. Like we could solve global warming just from eliminating all the needless, temporary high school t-shirts that get like recycled and just produced and recycled and produced, or not recycled, but just produced and thrown away. I mean, it's like high school tea. I'm going to do, okay, we're going to do a count. How many more high school teas can we find in this one bag? One. Let's see what we got here. Two. I mean, it's like every other one. Uh, this is not one. Uh, three. Elementary school tea. That's why it was so small. Uh, that That's technically... All right, so it's technically college, so we're not going to count it. Uh, let's see what that's. Nope. Wait. Nope. Uh, four. Homecoming. This is this is five. Oh my gosh, so many. That's just a gap T. We're at five. All right, what is this? This is nothing. It's just a blank. Uh, six, uh, yeah, five, six, seven. Oh, it's kind of cool. Not, this is a homemade tea or something, but check this out. That's pretty cool. Whoo, this guy's used a lot of Axe Body Spray. We got LeBron, Kobe, and James in that t-shirt. This is a modern print. Somebody made this up, printed it on there, but that's still pretty cool. Hold on to that. I think we're at seven for the... Seven for the high school tees. Pre uh, a preschool tee. We're gonna count that. Eight. All right, let me catch up here. Woo. <laughs> oh yeah, one of the uniform tees. <laughs> That's great, Chad. <laughs> My wife is making t-shirt yarn out of. High school. Oh, interesting. That's really interesting, Ryan. Can you have her do a YouTube video about that? Because I think, like, I think that would be really cool. Uh, high school tees and kids sports teams. <laughs> yeah, you could stop them. You could say <laughs> bowling trophies. <laughs> uh, picked up. Uh, Oh, cameras. Yeah, cameras. I mean, I need to learn more about cameras. Well, here's a teacher. So that's technically a high school tee. 
Uh, was that nine or ten? I think it's been the last ten of the last eleven. Up, oh, that's eleven right there. That is uh, twelve. This is what is this? Uh, that's technically probably not a high school, but related to schooling, to high schooling. Um. All right, this bag doesn't seem to be as exciting as the previous bags. Again, with there's a college tee, so not technically a high school tee. More college tees. Arkansas State, I think, is what most of these are here. Yeah, a bunch of Arkansas State. So, <laughs> one high school tee. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Two. That would be. I be. We'd be like. 43 high school tees. Ah, 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 ah. Does he ah, uh, ah uh, every time he, like, to the number he's counting to? I always felt like he did, but it's probably not true. All right, we have a, an older, okay, this is a high school tee, 2004. That's pretty cool on the backside, but it's like a college, it's a college sponsored, like, uh, volleyball camp. But I just wish it was the Pizza Hut from that era. That would have been cooler. Um, a lot of cutoffs. Yeah, a lot of these like shootouts, these basketball camps, sports camps, quiet storm, center center pocket. There you go, Jason. That's the way to do it. Yeah, I bet that center pocket, the center stuff, man. It's all about the position of that center swoosh or that swoosh. I've got like some like. Dope Nike stuff with the swoosh to the right and to the left. Like, well, it's a modern. But is this center check? It's in the center. Look, center check, center swoosh. It is a cutoff, <laughs> but, and it's modern, but it's center, right? Flying cow, more college. It's like college, college, college. Why do people do this? Just to show off your muscles. Look at look at his arm. Look at this. Ugh. I'm an old I'm an old grumpy man at this point. All right. Uh, I haven't been counting. I lost count, but this is another. And almost everything here has been high school T-shirts. Farewell summer tour. Oh my gosh, that's wait tour. Farewell summer tour. Oh, it's a high school band or something. Oh, my gosh. Literally everything is. These people are so involved. You have to forgive me a little bit, guys. Like, maybe you guys grew up with high school T-shirts and stuff, and it's just like a thing. But I was homeschooled um, all the way to college. So, like, I don't understand any of this stuff. <laughs> so, um, and maybe I don't understand math either, but that's besides the point. Um just so many more college related or high school related t shirts. This bag might have been entirely, entirely. Oh, that's kind of cool. I can tell this is the same owner as another one of their tees because it smells exactly the same. This is a VW T. Um, that's actually kind of cool. I might actually hold on to this because I think that was that's what an official uh VW Volkswagen, like a Volkswagen, uh, the bus. Uh, t-shirt for them when they re start reissuing or remaking those. All right, what do we have here? No, oh, nothing. All right, seriously, you've got a dope-looking uh, Batman or Joker t-shirt for your for your uh, uh, whatever what's this called? Uh, for your uh, what do they call it your fraternity. Oh my gosh! All right, well, what's this? Nope. We have an officially licensed uh, Smokey the Bear t-shirt. That's kind of cool. All right, let me check up on here. Yeah, Dead Suck Pocket Tees. They're your logo on that. That's a good idea. Finding them is harder. I found a couple duplicate shirts in a rag bag that were obviously new. But printed on vintage single stitch jerseys tees. Any clue? Hmm. 
I mean, Chad, sometimes here's the thing with with the whole vintage t-shirt market, really. 90% of those t-shirts that we're all you know coveting and trying to find, they're all they were originally all blanks that were sold to screen individual screen printers. And that stock just may have ended up somewhere and pulled out and eventually used. So um, it's hard to say sometimes because I've seen single stitch t-shirts print, printed on, on, on graphics or for events that were like in the like middle 2000s, like 2010. Uh, but they clearly weren't like single stitch tees. They were like clearly leftover t-shirts that just got used at some point or found at some point. So that's a tough one. Yeah, mom. Yeah, mom boss sporting goods. Jerseys is perhaps the most notorious. I've probably found jerseys most often single stitch dead stock uh, blank tees just lying in big chunks in the thrift store or it's or you know at, at a yard sale most commonly. People will pick them up and print on them. You know, so it, it's that's why it's a little bit difficult to be like, oh, single stitch automatically means vintage. Well, technically the T-shirt was produced then, but it's weird because. The vintage market is looking for is sort of torn between the two. It's not that the item itself is technically made 20 years ago. It was like the initial purpose of the t-shirt has to be 20 years old. So if it's a you know a blank t-shirt now or a you know a single stitch t-shirt now that someone found blank printed something for like a you know recent tour from like the last two years, it's not going to be the same thing. So. Yeah, BVD blanks are commonly like that. Blanks sell pretty well. You, um, I'm a little bit like torn on blanks because I'm like, how many times am I selling blanks and it's just going to somebody who's trying to fake t-shirts? That's just that's a tough one. I I don't disagree with selling them. It's just tough. That's only uh, bag number three, guys. We still have five more bags. Hopefully they're as good as those first two. I have a feeling they won't be, but, you know, you never... Say never. First tee, second bag. What the heck is going on here? We have a Cherokee Lux. Like, this is weird. Check this out, guys. This is, I think, I think this is like a chef's outfit or something, but it's got like pearl snaps. Cherokee is a super cheap brand. I don't understand this. This is weird. But it's got like pearl snaps. See, like, oh, I wish I was women's like pearl snaps. They're pretty, but I don't, not something I'm interested in right now. What do we have here? Nothing. All right, come on. Let's see some more heat. Let's keep this thing going. Yes, Caleb, we had a uh, big time luck in the first, yeah, nurse tops, but uh, it's, but a nurse top for a, um, with with pearl snaps, that's I've never seen that before. Yeah, so Caleb, we found some pretty cool stuff. We'll review it here in a minute since we've got such a long video. Um, but we found some Stanley DeSantis tag, or at least one Stanley DeSantis tag T-shirt. Pretty freaking cool. So uh, hopefully uh, you'll be impressed by that. <laughs> that's one of the better finds we've had in a while. So or at least a few weeks. Um. I, we pulled out some NWO, an NWO T. Yeah, here's some more like, here's some more of that same uh, nurse nursing outfits. But I just never, these are Pearl Snap too. That's so fancy. Um, we pulled out, oh, that would have been cool if it was real and not a, uh, you know, like a recycled karma. This is probably, you know. Walmart or something. Um, we pulled out NWOT and a Batman Forever T a few weeks ago. I sold the NWOT to somebody on Depop. And, oh, my gosh, for the life of me, I feel so terrible. I accidentally slapped the wrong – uh, printed the wrong label for it, sent it to the wrong guy, waiting to hear back if the guy that it got to will actually send it back to me. So far, he has not responded. I feel terrible. Obviously, I've already refunded the guy who bought it, but, um, you know, it's just a loss for me. So, man, it's so annoying. 
always pay guys pay as much attention as you possibly can while you're shipping. So many, so many mistakes can happen that can lose you lots of money and great products. All right. So far, this bag's not got hardly anything in it. You know, they all can't all be good. So a little bit less on the high school tees here. I feel like the last t-shirt was lit or last bag was literally like 90% high school tees. This one's got sort of a variety of, of all of them with some actual physical rags. Yeah, it's yeah, Caleb. Unfortunately, if it actually does come back to me, which I pray it does, it's spoken for. Um, and it's also a pretty unusual size. I think it was like three XL. It was huge. Um, so hopefully the guy will send it back. I mean, I'm not saying the guy that that it actually got shipped to was like like trying to play me or trying to steal or nothing. They just you know they're under no obligation to recognize that I have a T-shirt. And I asked that, you know, requested to have it sent back. So science diet. <laughs> um, so, so who, it's just one of those things that happens. You got to live and learn and, you know, try to try to not make those kind of mistakes before. I probably haven't made that mistake. Like a shipping mistake like that in years, but man, it's, it's frustrating. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, Chad, you're right. You're actually right. Like, I, especially with rag bag stuff, if it comes out, like, if I have it, if I already own it, I'm going to sell it. I'm going to try to sell it. And you're right. I can get 15 bucks for it, which, you know, considering I'm, you know, buying these bags for about six or six dollars a piece, like, you know, I'm only in it for a few bucks, maybe at the most. So, like, it's definitely worth trying to sell. It's just, you know, you get them and you're like, ah, oh, I wish this was legit, you know. Or which was old, vintage, real from that time. All right, but we're halfway. This is this is halfway. So far, the first two bags were the killer bags. Um, I'm not sure that they were bought at the same time. In fact, I'm pretty sure they weren't. So, who knows what else we lies in store for us and the rest of these bags? But we're gonna find out what we have here. Oh, we have a vintage tea, everybody. Oh, this is cool. Check it out. We got an art tee. Single stitch art. Single stitch? Single stitch art tee. The Salvador Dali Museum in St. Petersburg. Check that out, guys. On the Haynes Beefy. It keeps going today, boys and girls. The Haynes Beefy. Check that out. That is incredible. Art tees are underrated. Underrated. Underrated art tees, they benefit from two things being vintage and and being art, famous art. That is a great start to this bag, everybody. I actually feel like I don't know, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But great start to the bag. That t shirt, whoa, it's a lot of dust in this one, boys and girls. Got a lot of towels, too, a lot of filler space. We got a big old towel here. It's pretty though. Pretty towel. I'm gonna hold on to that one. I do try to go to the beach as often as possible. Hopefully, there's some more art tees in here, everybody. This is kind of a cool tee. You now, brain food. Some student or uh, teacher. Oh, this is the first I think we have like a literal blanket in here. Like a whole blanket. We have a t-shirt. Oh, it's a t-shirt. No, it's not a t-shirt. It's a yeah, Liz and me women's uh, button up. Yeah, I have come across actually last week. I had a vintage. I oh okay. I don't know if they're vintage to be honest, but they were. They felt vintage. They were Disney uh, like uh, girls uh, Disney uh, curtains. And uh, my daughter took them. She wanted them so much. All right. Feeling good. Feeling good. We've had a good night so far. 
good, good night so far. Wow, that aged well. Class of 07, you guys suck. Uh, <laughs> uh. All right, what do we have here? Nothing. We have like electrical company. We got some rain homemade tie dye. I don't know. E I I A. Uh, that's another thing we get a lot in here is we get lots of homemade tie dye shirts, which is not always bad. In fact, I've I've sold a handful of them in the past, so they're not always bad. Uh, we have oh spaghetti strap. Ooh, that might, probably is vintage. Is a spaghetti strap coming back? Victoria's Secret, like nighty. Uh, let's see, we got some more spaghetti straps. Lots of spaghetti straps in here. All right, this is oh nothing. Lots of little rags, lots of rags, 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 rags. Woohoo! All right, nothing. A lot more rags. All right, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Oh, uh, nothing. We got a turtleneck smock. Smock, smock. Why did I say smock? Maybe it's a smock. Liz Claiborne. Towel question. Do you wash them first? <laughs> Wait, like... Like, if... <laughs> If I find a, a towel, do I wash it? Of course I wash it. Uh, if I keep anything from any of these bags, they're getting washed. But, um, but, but yeah, I've only, we've kept a handful, um, or we've kept quite a few actually over the, over the years now, but <laughs> some of these towels you can cut your, uh, you can cut yourself on. So gotta be careful. Oh, uh, hang 10. I don't know what that is. Uh, all right. This bag is pretty much done. That's the last one, and it's nothing. That was a one banger bag. Really cool art tee. Definitely the best tee out of that. Bro, Jason, you, you, you for real? $200 tee? Oh, that's interesting. Oh. Whew. Man, today has been a good day, everybody. <laughs> Woo! One of the better days, probably. See, this is why we all watch this. We all watch. This is why we do this. Uh, what's this? With some alt, no, this is some generic tea. All right, we're down to three bags, everybody. Who knows what's going to happen? We never know. We got some towels. Come on. Come on. We never know. It can be good. It can be bad. It can be ugly, even. Uh, this is probably a vintage tea, but you can't really tell what's going on. I do see some eagles here. It's not, I mean, maybe probably not vintage, vintage, but it's probably like early 2000s. So close to vintage. We have a motor speedway, the local motor speedway, not too far from here. Probably an older tea, but I've seen that place, not worth it. As far as t-shirts are concerned this would have been cool if this was vintage but i don't think it is it's not it's uh, on a delta modern pro 8 cool t-shirt either way though might hold on to that i love movie tees i'd love to find some more movie tees we got some rags and towels in here Yeah, you're right, but I'm having a day. It's good, though, because last week sucked so bad. Like, last week was terrible. Last week was probably one of the worst rag bags 
uh, set of rag bags that I've ever had. Like they don't normally go that bad because they're not normally that bad. Uh, we got a, so a lot of towels in this one, lots of towels. In fact, almost all of it's towels. Don't always count out towels and rag bags, everybody, because um, I've actually made a hundred dollars from towels. One time we found a whole set of vintage Ralph Lauren towels with the like uh, the like Southwestern Native American print. They sold for hundred bucks. All right, let's see. Uh, so not sure if you've ever said, but where do you read these bags or do you have a textile? I don't have a textile recycler that I know of near me. Uh, I will donate them back to, um, a, so I take them basically a town away to redonate them. I don't always redonate all of them. Uh, some of them like are clearly like nobody's ever going to buy these. They're just going to end up going over and over and over. Um, so, uh, some just go to this burn pile and we burn them up. Uh, some of them we use on the farm because we actually have cows and sheep and stuff here. I'll show those one day. Um, we use that for some cleanup stuff like that. But um, uh, some of them just uh, get, go back, depending on if I'm going to go to the town over. If I'm going to go there, I'll donate them. But if I'm not, it's just they're going to end up in the pile uh, burned up. Uh, Randy, you are late and there are lots of bangers. Wait for the review. We're getting close to it. So very close. <laughs> Almost bought a Sonic TT. That's a great idea, Ch uh, Chad. Yeah, we're almost done. We have two more bags. So we, unless you know, it gets crazy here, we'll be wrapping up pretty soon. So great night. Woohoo! All right, bag. This is bag number seven, I believe. Let's see if it can be as good as the previous. Ba uh, bags that we've had it's hard to do when it's been so so uh so good so far if you've you know watched these shows you know last week was a bit it was a bad week so um definitely feel like we're catching up uh for that lots of towels today more towels than normal perhaps dixie outfitters no thank you all right, we got some. There are some colored t. Well, I don't know. We'll see. There's some color. There are some colors of t-shirts that just were not vintage. So you know, like they're not like they don't. They never use that color in the '90s or something like the like the neon light uh, green. Like you just never see those in vintage tees. You can like tell right away that those are not vintage. Nope. All right, one more. Let's just get one more. Oh, yeah, Jason. Yeah, that would have been great. All right, you mentioned the black T-shirt dry rot thing once. Did it happen after the buyer got it? Um, I have never, luckily, I've never actually sold a dry rotted tea to anybody. Um I don't think. I'm pretty sure I have not. I don't recall or call it. If I did, oh, no, wait. Hey, all right. This actually might be a C. A, wait, hold on. I don't know what to do with this. Um, all right, so I'm going to show you the front and then I'm going to show you the back. This is a brand that uh, is recently been uh, hyped, and uh, you'll t you, you can tell me what it right here. You see that? Now it's on a Gildan tag, a fairly modern Gildan tag. But check out the back. The back is sick. I don't know. Like it looks like it's too worn to be like a recent from. Recently, like printed since the documentary series came out, came out, so it feels like it has to be older than that. But it says Von Dutch lives, so that makes me think that it's a T-shirt that's sort of, you know, hearkening to the idea that it sort of died. So, anyone got? It has been hyped because of the docu series. Some of the OG stuff, like some of the hats and stuff, have gone for uh, for a bit. 
I, I don't know if it's super hype. I haven't sold anything. In fact, I've not. I think I may have found one Von Dutch thing ever. Probably because I wasn't paying attention to it because it wasn't interesting. It wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, yeah, Chad, you're right. Uh, but uh, it probably because I've never really in, like looking for it. So I never paid any attention, but since the docu series, people have there has been some hype about it because it's a pretty wild, um, a pre, it's a pretty wild story for a company. Um, so some of the OG stuff actually is you know I've seen a couple sales that have been pretty wild. They could be they could be fake and they could be a, you know pumped up or something, but still it's pretty interesting. Also, the documentary series is wild. Like it's. It's such a crazy story. This is a crazy story. So anyway, interesting t-shirt, at least. That's the other thing about doing these rag bags. What's up, Otis from Seattle? Wait, thank you for tuning in, man. The North Pacific is like the only place in America outside of Alaska and Hawaii that have not been. I traveled a lot when I was a teenager, uh, you know, just out of high school. Saw most of the world except basically Oregon, yeah, you know, Oregon, Idaho, Washington, and maybe the Dakotas. Um, so just about everything else. Got to get up there one day for sure. All right. So not much here. Some ratty uh, towels. We're coming down to the end. We got an H and M T shirt or H and M something or other. Some small like kid, child H and M T shirt or something. Yeah, nothing. That's bag number eight. Is seven bag number eight coming up? It's been a great. Hey, hey, lots of Seattleites out here. Don't we, they call you guys Seattleites? Seattleans. Yeah, the Von Dutch, the Y2K thing. Y2K is coming up, so keep you guys like notice. Like Kanye's working with the Gap, so like like early two thousands Y2K stuff. You got to keep on top of it. Keep your eye out for it uh, because uh, it's gonna have its moment at some point. I don't know which brands or anything, but it's gonna have its moment for sure. It's a good point. Good point. Uh, Las Vegas, nothing, man. Can we get another Stanley DeSantis in the chat or in the brag bags <laughs> or the chat? Oh, that's interesting, Chad. That's an interesting, interesting. Like those brands are still super popular. That's the thing. Some like specifically like vintage resellers, we kind of write off modern t-shirts and modern companies because of oh, like they're not old. How can they have value? But you, we also forget sometimes that these are very popular brands to buy, to wear. Um, so people are looking to buy them and wear them. So I know that I've been, I've probably lost a good bit of money just ignoring some of that stuff. Because I'm like, oh, it's not vintage, so it doesn't have any other intrinsic value. You know, there's not collectors for it. Well, there's still people that want to wear it because they love that brand. So you're absolutely right. You've got to pay attention to some of that stuff. I actually just sold a, well, I guess it was vintage. It was a vintage Abercrombie & Fitch motorcycle jacket, real distressed, um, that we pulled out of a rag bag. I think I sold it for 20, 25 bucks. Like, so a really good t-shirt sale from a rag bag and for a pretty ratty distressed t-shirt from a company that is not no, normally recognized as like hype vintage. So pretty cool. Fashion runs 20. Yes, you're right. Absolutely. Jason, you're absolutely right. <laughs> No, yeah, dude. The vent I've I've thought about that before. It's like when are those old navy like flag tees gonna be like popular again? Like I remember, gotta be like 2000, 2001. Um uh, 
every time my parents would like go out like on vacation together or something or they you know they do like a weekend away they'd go shopping go to like an outlet mall and buy buy all of us this all my you know brothers and sisters the same exact um you know the matching uh, old navy flag tee um if i haven't mentioned it before i have eight brothers and sisters so eight siblings in addition to me so there's nine of us total so uh another sort of bizarre unique thing about me um if you're interested uh this bag is not looking like it's going to be yielding anything like the previous bags um unfortunately but uh, i am more than happy and more than content there's that uh, comfort colors t-shirt and tag right there with a bobby brooks and the last T of the night. Oh, hold on. Not quite. The last T of the night is nothing. It's a modern uh, Walmart Ocean Pacific T. Ryan, way to go, my man. I knew I liked you. I knew I liked you. Yeah, I'm the oldest of nine. Oldest of nine. So uh, I have four myself. So. Yeah, I'm with you. The comfort colors give me all the time. Nice rant. Great. Yeah, Lee Sport. Really good, in my opinion. Uh, good, good sweatshirts for sure. That's right, Chad. You about the game. You about that life. You're the you're the hustler. That's a good point. Everybody needs to pay attention to what he said there. If, if you're going to try to make this your living, even if you're really going to try to emphasize vintage, sometimes you just got to sell what sells because you got to stay alive. You got to keep your business going. You got to have capital. So sell what sells. All right. Let's go ahead and do a recap because this one has been an incredible night. Um, I'm just going to go in the way that I found it. We we found that Von Dutch tea. I don't really know much about it. I think the graphic is sweet. Um, Von Dutch has got some interest in it right now. So we'll see what happens with that. Uh, we got this white tea. This was just that rocky tea. It's modern. Nothing special. But it looks like it might be official MGM. Um, nothing there. We do have this guy. The uh, Might be the sm most or second most valuable t-shirt. We have the Salvatore Dali Museum Art Tea. Single stitch on the Hanes Beefy. This one was one of the best ones we found today. It's got some marking or staining right here but we'll see if we can clean that up incredible tea um it's size xl which is a great size single stitch man usa on the haynes beefy on the yeah haynes beefy tea super cool uh definitely on the top the top of the list here uh we have we have this official license smoky the bear t-shirt i'm not sure i'm gonna keep that um we have this official licensed uh, VW uh, bus T, which I think is pretty cool. Tie dye. Uh, I'll probably sell that for a couple bucks. Uh, we have this homemade like Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, uh, LeBron James T. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I think it's cool. We have what's this? We have a vintage Nike women's uh, T-shirt, Men USA center check, center swoosh, center, center, um, size medium, I think. I will skip that one. That's not anything interesting. We do have another uh, vintage Nike men's medium, but this feels very large. It feels like an XL. Uh, it's one. It's like uh, you say, I throw like a girl. It's got lots of stains. But we might clean it up, uh, but it is a vintage 90s Nike t-shirt, so that's pretty cool. Men USA center check. Uh, we have this random uh, vintage tee. It looks like it's a schoolhouse or a church. And there's music and they're rocking and rolling. Um, single stitch on the, uh, I think it's TJ's, the Heft T by TJ's. Uh, this one's cool. Uh, yeah, that second Nike is cool. It's super dope. I is a great team. It's need to be cleaned up. Uh, we have uh, Planet Hollywood single stitch t shirt, Chicago. Single stitch, got this one. Uh, it's a size, it's pretty big. Size XL, so great. Made especially made especially for Planet Hollywood. Uh, these are like $15 to $20 t-shirts all day long. 
Uh, we have this random Urban Urban Works XL like double stitch, uh, double collar and double hem. Don't know much about it. Probably not a big deal, but still vintage. It's still cool. We got this vintage Mizzou tee on the Time Out 100% cotton single stitch. Nothing crazy, but we're in Missouri. A lot of graduates from there. Cool T-shirt. Um, we got the vintage Tommy Hilfiger script with the autographed uh, T, not single stitch, double stitch, probably from the late 90s, early 2000s. Uh, I love this T-shirt. I love the script, uh, the Tommy Hilfiger script. So it might stay in my collection because it is a size. It says medium, but I feel like it's much larger than that. So we'll see. Uh, we have a blank Fruit of the Loom long sleeve pocket tee. Um, we will save that one for last right there. Uh, we have this Showtime Championship Boxing. This is the uh, Showtime, the uh, like the 90, or well, uh, this is the design uh, from the 90s, I believe. Uh, single stitch Showtime Boxing, the channel. Uh, this is one of my favorite t shirts we found today. Super sick, super cool t shirt right there. Uh, we've got the bootleg Nike center check, right? I mean, I think it's bootleg. Maybe it's not bootleg. It might not be bootleg, but it is single stitch. Nike wasn't doing a lot of single stitches like late in the game in the nineties. So I have no idea. It looks, looks bootleg to me, but still pretty cool. Pretty cool T. Uh, we have the university of Las Vegas single stitch on the model T t-shirts. Uh, single stitch, got this like vibrant colors, might be glow in the dark. Who knows? We'll have to find out. Uh, super cool t shirt right there. Um, we got another Nike early 2000s, like 2001, with just with the side check, not as not as hyped up, but still pretty cool. But, uh, out of all that, we do have one of the best tees and perhaps one of the most, uh, uh, unusual, like rare finds, especially out of a rag bag. It's the Stanley DeSantis Wizard of Oz Tin Man, Tin Man uh, from Turner Entertainment, 1997 on the Stanley DeSantis tag. Obviously a rare and coveted tag. Super cool. Single stitch. Uh, this and the Salvatore Do uh, uh, Dolly, definitely the best two tees. Super crazy to find them in $6 rag bags in the middle of Missouri, middle of nowhere. So super, super stoked on these finds right here. It uh, doesn't happen all the time. Uh, such a great day. So thank you guys for hanging out and watching that. That was a lot of fun for me. Uh, let's see what we got here. Garage sale season, yeah. No, yeah, with garage sales, especially we can get things so cheap. You you should go out outside of your uh, outside of your comfort zone. Jason, if you know somebody, let uh, hit uh, hit me up. Uh, I'll drop my email in the chat. And uh, if, uh, if you want to make the connection, let me know. Uh, you got any videos on how to remove stains from vintage cheese? Chad, I filmed the one at one time. <laughs> I filmed it, and it sucked. Like, it was just a bad video. My wife and I did it together, and we both hated it. It just wasn't wor wor working right. So um, I don't. I will eventually have one, but I don't have one. So. Um, for white, for white tea, well, for white teas, I go with OxyClean and, um, some Dawn dish soap for sure. Um, in some, some cases just go straight bleach and, you know, or not straight bleach, but to the diluted bleach and that you can get, get some of that out. But, uh, but yeah, that's definitely not my, I haven't gotten a video out yet. So, all right, let's see. No, Brandon, you got a descent as a razorhead tea. Killer. <whistles> yeah, DeSantis stuff is hard to find, guys. There's a reason why it's so rare and coveted, is that I mean it's the I mean it's the holy it's a holy grail in some cases for you know obscure vintage t-shirts. Um, like I said earlier, I've only found a handful of Stanley DeSantis, Stanley DeSantis t uh, shirts ever. Um in like, you know, five years of doing this hardcore. So, um, so pretty cool. So I'm, I'm super pumped. Today's haul was perhaps one of the best ever that I've done. 
We've had a few here in the past that have been pretty incredible. We had one a long time ago um, where we found, I think it was an entire bag, basically full of late 90s, early 2000s wrestling. I made so much money on that. So, um, yeah, sweet, dude. Yeah, Jason, let me know. I'll, we'll see if we can work something out. Um, uh, I've only seen a couple of his tees in the past, so um, and not this one particularly, that's for sure. So. Uh, definitely, we'll uh, take a take a hear hear out from your dude, and uh, we'll see what we can work out. So, um, but great night, everyone! Thank you guys so much for joining. Um, I would hang out for a little bit longer, but my kids need to uh, have their father back. Uh, my wife doesn't get back until Wednesday, so I still am the only parent in the house. So I need to go take care of them. Again, thank you guys so much for being here. I apologize. We haven't had any videos this week, but again, I told you what my situation is. We'll be back on it. We have the fit guide. I do want to mention this real quickly. Um, we have a fit guide, a video where we did with, we brought a model in, um, put a bunch of vintage Levi's women's jeans on her and basically break down some of the differences in the fit between the jeans that comes out this week. Um, basically, I'm doing this for a resource for uh, I'm doing this video for a resource for you guys as resellers to put in like your eBay listings. If you don't know, you can put videos in your eBay listings. Um, basically, this hopefully will help you uh, uh, educate your buyer um, because I get lots of questions about uh, what you know does, what does the 550 look like and the 512 and and uh, the 517 and they and with the world we live in. There's so much online buying going on. You guys know this. Uh, a lot of people hesitate because they don't know what it's going to look like or how it's going to fit. So hopefully this little video will help uh, some people out there, uh, especially some of the resellers, convince their buyers that the jeans that they're selling will fit them in the way they want to. So this video comes out this week. So take a look. Uh, uh, take a look at it. Use it wherever you want. And hopefully it will help you make some more sales and educate your buyers on vintage jeans. We're going to do a bunch of series videos like this um, with a bunch of different types of uh, jeans uh, with men's jeans. We have one with the men's that will come out a little bit later once we get it all sorted out and we'll keep adding uh, to the Levi's lineup and hopefully into Wrangler and Lee. So hopefully uh, we'll have a bunch of those types of videos out uh, with model numbers and guides for the fit to help other uh, buyers out there for uh, deciding whether or not they want to buy jeans. Thank you guys so much. We love you here. We'll talk to you guys soon. Uh, peace. Oh, yeah.